I, I'd like to follow up on the question about women. I know I read your article um, in Rolling Stone and your comments that uh, it was okay for Donald Trump to grope women or it wasn't a big deal because deep down women want to be taken by a strong man. Is Does that mean it's okay for all men to grab women? It would seem to give permission in that way. So I just wonder if you want to clarify that. Uh, or, no, I, I'm not in endorsing uh, physical harassment. Uh, my, my point was that uh, Donald Trump, uh, what he was talking about in the grab them by the pussy comment, uh, this, as he said, this was locker room talk. These were, these were words. Uh, in terms of going a little bit deeper, I would stand by those comments. Uh, I do not believe that we are uh, atomistic individuals. I think that we come from hundreds of thousands of years of human evolution, and we need to be real about human nature. Um, yes, women, deep down, do want to be taken by a strong man. Uh, the fact is, I've looked. Does that not? Give I've looked at a lot of. I've looked at a lot of. I've looked at a lot of romance novels that women read, and I've noticed a distinct pattern. Um, romance novels about cubicle-dwelling, uh, boring computer programmers who take women out to eat pizza don't sell very well. <laughs> romance novels about cowboys and Vikings, and it seems to be very popular. We might want to look at something like that and see if that tells but us something about human nature. But who decides if it's a strong man, does the woman get to say? Does she have, does she have a choice? I mean, it's- Well, seems, I guess I'll answer you I mean, yes to that. Well, the, the implication would be that for men, it would seem to give them license to act this way, that if you want to be taken seriously like a strong man, that's what women want, so. I think you're just saying this. Uh, <laughs> I'm not it's saying not, What What people, uh, I mean, what people want deep down are our fantasy life. And who we are as human, who we are effectively as animals, that, that's sometimes something a little bit darker than what we'll express. Uh, I guess it's like, what is a strong man? Is it, who decides what a strong man is? You have to be rich and powerful to be able to act like that? No, not necessarily. No, I, I, I think a, a, wow, it's kind of interesting. We're getting. It's certainly. This is taking on a new it's goal. Certainly, as I'm, I'm something of an evolutionary psychologist, and it's, you know, that, that is. Uh, textbook kind of stuff that women are attracted to to wealth and power and and there's good evolutionary reasons for that you know, that they they would have someone who would father their children and be able to support them well They're, they would be upwardly mobile and so on so I mean it, it's uh, like I said it's textbook psychology one on evolutionary psychology 101 um, and we, you know Trump is a celebrity he was wealthy he's very attractive and that and and so yeah he, he he comes on to a woman, I would say most women would probably probably like that. So obviously up on stage there's seven men and uh, I was looking around before and there's not really very many women in here. Um, why do you think the alt-right is not able to attract women? Oh, the alt-right does attract women. I can't uh, see any. Uh, are you blind? All right, what, five percent? But no, seriously, why do you think you're not able to attract women? Uh, I think that radical movements, um, generally speaking, whether they're the left and the right, are going to be predominantly men. Um, at any kind of ideological or political conference, uh, you're just going to find more men engaged in it. Um, I, don't, I don't think you know, this demographic is, is particularly surprising or particularly different from other ideological movements. Uh, but I think it is very important to reach women, I agree. Uh, I think everyone agrees with this, and I, I think the alt-right in terms, alt-right offers much more for women uh, than libertarianism, or certainly the left, uh, which has created a tremendous amount of unhappiness. Um, it's uh, unhappy 45-year-old uh, cat ladies. Um, and I think li libertarianism, which offers them only you know, the prospect of career advancement, uh, is also equally dissatisfying, uh, if not more so. I think the old right offers them a chance to certainly fulfill themselves, but also to do that special thing that only women can do, and that's be a mother. Uh, what is the old right offering to women? I'm sorry I gave the microphone back, but you know, what is it offering that other groups aren't? Like? Beyond the chance to be a mother. I just answer. I mean, we offer them. I, mean, I just answered the question. I mean, we, we offer them the kind of the happiness of true self-actualization. 
But um, I mean, we're not gonna. We don't have a program that's like, oh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do this for women. I think one interesting thing that um, uh, Ivanka Trump actually mentioned in uh, in the Cleveland uh, in her speech in Cleveland uh, for the Republican National Convention was this notion of a federally sponsored uh, maternity leave. I think that's a wonderful thing. That is a kind of alt right idea, and that's also our willingness to go outside the bounds of left and right. Uh, that's certainly something that I would support. Uh, <clears throat>